and we're back for episode 3 of Kerbal Space Program. So, what I've done to our Waffly Orbiter is I have uh, added extra fuel tank, or a half a fuel tank, to each of the rockets. I've also taken off the RCS fuel pods, which are uh, the things that I had up here. Because we didn't use RCS once, and it was uh, just a waste of fuel or mass. And I've also replaced the top parachute with a docking machine, or not machine, shielded docking port. And uh, we won't be using that just yet. But if I ever do need it, it will allow us to latch this rocket onto other spaceships. So, other than that, it's entirely the same. Alright, one thing that I also messed up on last time was I did the gravity turn too early. Because uh, I should have been paying attention I should have been paying attention to my nav ball and it said that it wasn't time for it yet. So I uh, I won't do the gravity turn until I'm supposed to this time. So, Waffly Pi Waffly Orbiter, Mark two, liftoff in five, four, three, two, one. So in case you didn't know, the blue things on top of our rock solid fuel boosters are parachutes. Just so that, uh, I think those parachutes will, won't stop those from dying, but I mean, I quote the parachutes. And now we have quite a bit of fuel left, uh, because we've added these, uh, these extra half tanks. and. So, this should be enough to get us into orbit, hopefully, and it'll be the first rocket that we've sent into orbit, even though it's only episode 3.
so now they're almost out, and we're about to be separating them. There they go. And these also have parachutes on them, which uh, aren't deploying, probably because they're too high up. Oh well, it's just debris anyway. Alright, uh, you can actually tell on the nav ball when it's time to do the gravity turn because the this little green thing here, that's your path of your orbit, and so when it turns, that's when you turn. So uh, we'll go up to about 300 kilometers. Actually, uh, we can stop right now, I mean... We're getting a bit low on fuel, I'm pressing the wrong button. So we have one and a half fuel tanks, half of our three, to uh, to get us into an orbit. Uh-oh. What just happened to my computer? Oh, it got really dark. Oh, crap. This is going to be hard to see. Well, that's a problem. I guess uh, you really get the feeling that you're in space now. Now one cool thing about the, uh, the advanced SS is that it utilizes the RCS to uh, correct its movements. So let's go ahead and speed up time here. Okay, okay, that is way too fast. I couldn't see how fast I was hitting the button. That's okay though. We uh we'll catch up with the F offsets.
gonna happen. There it is, there's the periapsis. Just as we run out of fuel. We are now in orbit. An oblong orbit, that is. <laughs> 170 by 229. I, uh, I probably could have shut off the engines a bit earlier and then gone to the apoapsis and then burned to make it more circular. But uh, it, it's still in orbit. So uh, I'd say that's an accomplishment right there. Our first orbiting rocket. So uh, yeah. I'm not sure what we'll do next time. Maybe build a jet fighter. Maybe uh, attempt to build a rocket to the moon. You'll never know. Or I'll never know. Even though I'll know before you. <laughs> but until then... This has been Waffly Pie, and now that we're in orbit, I'll see you guys next time.